Hello and welcome to part 39 of my Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. Let's have a quick team recap. In the last episode, you guys, we did catch a new encounter. Top tip, it's not Ruby. Uh, Ruby's not on the layout either. Uh, there's an Eevee on the layout because Explorer the Eevee is our sick team member. However, uh, I just wanted to fly here so Ruby's in the party with Fly. Don't worry, perfectly legal. Ruby is alive and well and just happens to know Fly. There's no law against switching a Pokemon out just to use HMs as long as it's alive. Um, right, so let's, in fact, let's work bottom to top so I know when I'm done. Because I'm great at keeping up with stuff like that and for a bit of variety. So up first we have Lorenzo, the level 32 shiny red Gyarados holding the Mystic Water to power up Surf. Also has Thrash, Bite and Dragon Rage. Up next, we have third, the level 31, Hypno, holding no item with Headbutt, Hypnosis, Flash, and Confusion. Up next, Joel, the level 26, Nido King, holding the Amulet Coin with Lay, Thrash, Horn Attack, and Dublay Kick. Up next, we have Darren, the Typhlosion, holding a Charcoal to power up Flame Wheel and Ember. Also has Quick Attack and Smoke Screen. And we have Geochick the Golem, level 37, holding a nice heel just to keep it out of the way. With a stre <laughs> uh, rocking strength, easy for me to say. Defense curl, magnitude, and a rock throw, which I said in the wrong order for some reason. Right, okay, so in the last episode, as well as getting an encounter, which you'll have to watch the episode to find out what it was, because it's not in the party and it's not on the screen, so yeah. Um... Go back and watch that if you haven't already. We also went and bought a whole bunch of Ultra Balls. And now, we're heading... Oh, wait, we don't have... Ah, oh, we don't have our... Uh... We don't have our Whirlpool user. Who's our Whirlpool user? I don't know, but one sec. Haha, <laughs> you never know when I get to see this bit, guys. Look at this, professionalism. There's no harm in me doing that because it doesn't affect the Nuzlocke and I just can't be bothered going all the way back. To be perfectly honest. So, we are going to have to do some switcherooning. So, Ruby, 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 Ruby! Get in the PC. And then, who has Whirlpool? Not actually entirely sure. I don't think it was Start You or Uber Slayer. Can't remember what we called our Start You. Who's got Whirlpool? Polyswag would make sense with its little uh, Whirlpool like appearance. Oh, we can we can get a. Uh... Ah, it's Dominique. Well done, Dominique. Back in the party. Again, not changing the layout though. Keep an explorer on that screen. Just because we uh, we aren't changing anything up permanently. Just using HMs. Just using us some HMs. Right, so let's find our way into Whirl Islands. And then we have to try and find Lucia. We have the thing now for it, don't we? Like, oh. Yeah, Geotrick might not be the best choice to take on Lucia. I'm not sure what will be, to be honest. Where's the way in? Let me in. I'm really not sure what, the, what our best bet is to take on Lucia. I'm a little worried, actually, that we might lose someone. I really don't want that. Oh, third's quite low. I feel like we could go with Darren and use smoke screens and potions to begin with. Although we are about to go in somewhere that contains basically just water types. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know my way around World Islands either, by the way, you guys. By the way, you guys. So, this should be fun. Remember though, Lucia is not a water type, so it doesn't intimidate Darren. Well, does intimidate Darren on the basis of being a Lucia, not on the basis of being super effective. Right, I don't know why I got on this obviously not the right bit of land, but I did, so there you go, deal with it. 
Oh, what's happening? Thanks, Pokemon Company. For making this unnecessarily difficult. Right. Oh, good job we have Flash on third. Flash. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. To the extent that I'm actually going to stand here for a second. And I'm going to uh, get up a map. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my incredibly slow phone. So uh tap on the Google bar. And the keyboard just came up. That's how slow my phone actually is. Uh so well Islands Search. And I'm live coming this because I want you guys to know how long this takes. How much of a painful process this is. Let's turn around. Let's talk to you guys. Not off the back. Don't have my back to the camera. Come on. Come on, gold. Have you never been on TV? Ding, 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 ding. Bing, bong. I shouldn't sing along with the music because if I don't sync my voice up right, then everyone knows. Never mind. Right. And so the Google results are up. I've tapped. Uh, Bulbapedia's article about World Islands. I'm hoping to just see a a map. That's basically. I should, maybe should have image searched it and probably have found the map. Still loading. It's not my internet. My internet's not the best, but this isn't my internet. This is my phone. This is definitely my phone just being slow. Come on. Is it is it actually doing anything? Like, I can't even decide if it's, like, frozen, or... I think it might have frozen. Wonderful! Ah, there we go. Bing, bong, bing. Here we go, right. The page is open. Show me the layout. Aha! Oh my goodness. We're in this big mess. It is loser. I think it's there. Oh, damned if I know how you get there. Oh, okay, so this looks like where Lucia would appear. Ah, is that it? Do you know what? That was a lot less helpful than even I could have imagined. So we're just we're just gonna explore. <laughs> Guys. Um We've had an encounter in it. It was in fact a seal. Uh so we're not looking for an encounter. We have not had an encounter on Route 41, which is the route that you surf along to get to Whirl Islands. However, the only Pokemon available on Route 41, I've done my research, are Tentacool, Krabbit, Magikarp, Staryu, and Carcelot, all of which we have. So, with that in mind, what I've decided is that I will leave this encounter, I'll leave that encounter, until, um... Oh, look, strength. Let's follow the strength puzzle. Until such a point where... Um, I need one of those Pokemon and lose that Pokemon for whatever reason. Okay, that might be where I want to go. That little thing to our left. Move, Zubat. No one asked for your input, Zubat. Okay, so we can't go that way. Ah! Wonderful! 
<laughs> okay, okay, so, right back at the start, just where we wanted to be. So this screw it, let's just explore method is going well. I should have bought repels with my remaining money. Right, so we won't use that. We won't use strength now. We'll go this way instead. And I guess we'll go up these steps. Oh dear guys, I hope you like aimlessly wandering around in caves for your Pokemon YouTube content. Because that's what we're going to be doing today. Wait, this looks promising. Kinda. Okay. I take it back. <laughs> no longer looks promising. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So maybe not that way. Well, in that case, I'm kind of at a bit of a loss. Dinga, dinga, bing, bong, bang. I am kind of at a bit of a loss as to where I go. Where do I go now? Bomb, bomb, bomb. Where do I go? Whoa. Google, Pokemon Silver, Luge, Luge, what's happening? My Google search bar just went blank, it just deleted what I was trying to type. Let's try that again. Pokemon Silver. Oh my goodness, come on, you slow thing. Lose ya. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go back out the way I came in. Because that's about all I've got as an option here. Images. Uh, how to get Lucia in Pokemon dot 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 but the thumbnail looks very much like gold silver and crystal I don't know why I just paused and unpaused. Unpaused. Come on, slow computer. That's not even a computer. Slow phone. Come on. This is ridiculous. Still loading, guys. There we go. Okay. Obtain the first seven badges. Okay. Let me just double check this. Badges. Seven badges. Oh, that, that's actually quite a cool screen with all the badges spinning like that. Get the silver wing. Yep, done that. Go to Whirlpool Islands. Use your time. That's fine. What? Okay, so it doesn't even like... It doesn't even give you like a direction to go. It just says, 
It's like step three of the guide I found is find Lucia. <laughs> it's like that's the bit I'm struggling with, you stupid person. Right. Okay, so we're gonna try a different Whirl Island. I'm gonna, by the way, this episode, one second, let me just put my book down. I had my book on my knee for referring to when talking about various things like which Pokemon I can get here. All that good stuff. But now I think I'm done with that. I'm going to get Lugia in this episode. I'm going to find my way to Lugia. Whether the game likes it or not. I'm going to find the way. But I don't know. I don't know the way. Okay, but what I do know is... Oh. Is that I can't go around this block. It's still in the water. I have to go on land. Oh my goodness. I wish I'd bought repels. I so wish I'd bought repels. I'm wondering if anyone would mind me restarting. Is there even a shop on Seamwood? Oh, right. Great. So, it doesn't let you in, but also doesn't let you out without Whirlpool. Bing, bing. Come on. On Ash Grey, the whirlpools kind of uh, spit you out the same way each time. So you can kind of use some of them without having to constantly use whirlpool. But no such luck on this game. What's this? Oh, what? Am I back on seeing wood? What is that even about? Is this actually seeing wood? Actually is. Okay, well, seeing as we're here, let's just have a very quick ride round looking for a Pokemart. I don't think there's one on here though. No, I was gonna, I was gonna buy repels, but. Well, never mind. Right, let's get ourselves back into the uh, action. Okay, so that's the one I went into. So let's try this one. Let's find our way into this one now, shall we? Let me in. How do I get in? Let me in. Wild Tentacruel. Instinctively, I find that terrifying, and then I think, actually, it doesn't learn any water moves, really, that are any good by level up, and it's level 20. I'll be fine. But, like, my default reaction is, oh my god, Tentacruel. <laughs> Like, that's like my first response. Right. Run! Here we go! Let me in- Oh, come on! Hate this game. <laughs> Run in! Run in! A whirlpool is in the way. That is the most weird option it ever gives you. Do you want to use whirlpool? No, I just clicked it for fun, mate. Like, and the thing is, even if you use whirlpool, you don't have to, like, mandatory go through it. So, why even give you the option? You can just whirlpool it and then go the other way if you want. Like, there's no harm in using whirlpool whatsoever. Right, where are we now? Are we somewhere better than we were? Well, look, an item that I probably can't pick up. Oh, I can, because I've already got one of them. So weird! Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Let's try and make my life easier, shall we? Let's, let's just, let's just get me to lose you. Just put some arrows up or something. Game Freak, tell people where to go. Bing, bong, 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 bing, bong. Gotta stop singing along with the music. 
Oh, I'll put some pressure on me to get my uh, synchronized game on point, wasn't it? Oh, look! Literally the only reason to come up here is for an item. It's a nugget. Cool. Another five grand for me. Right. Now what else is going on? It's all very suspiciously mazy. All this faffing about. Mm, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try this ladder before I jump over the thing. That means I'll have to go all the way around just to get back to it. Might as well try the ladder while I'm here, eh, hey guys? Not, I'm not messing with you when I say I ain't uh, got a clue where I'm going in World Islands. Oh, hello. Ooh, an extra Ultra Ball. Handy dandy. How many have I got now? 99 and 4. I have 103. Quick maths. Oh, we can't jump out that way. We can only jump in. Rats. Rats. Damn game freak. <laughs> it's like they know what you're going to try and do. And just deliberately block it just to annoy you. Um, we've been down there. I know that's not helpful going down there, so we're not going to do it again. Right, get wrecked. Or get run away from, I should say. We're not actually wrecking anything at the moment. Okay. So, it wasn't this way. What's on this on this ridge to my left that heads down off the bottom of the screen? I want to know what's on there. Probably nothing, but I want to check because I guarantee if I don't explore, like, one crevice, that will be the way I am required to go. If I can ever get there because of these stupid Zubats. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on! Bing bong. Car boss. I'm going to use that because I feel like my bag's getting full again. I'm going to use that and speed someone up. Probably Darren. So he might might outspeed Lucia. Probably not, though. To be honest. Because, you know, it's a Lucia. Although Lucia's not particularly fast. Lucia's bulky, isn't it? Isn't that like its predominant thing? This is bulk. It's bulk. Ever noticed how if you just don't include the U in bulk, you basically still have the same word? Bulk. <laughs> oh! Okay. So wait, there's a waterfall here. Do I need waterfall? There was no mention in that wikiHow. I think it was wikiHow I was on. In that article, anyway. Wait, I can't... No, surf from up here. Oh, come on. Wrong way. Um, there's no mention of waterfall. Was that what I picked up in the last episode? Spoilers. In Ice Path. I'm sure I picked up an HM. That might have been Waterfall. Should we have a look? Ding, 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 ding. Content to cool. Have Waterfall. No. Gyarados can, but... I'm not about to waste that on Gyarados. Although, I'm not going to waste my time going back to find a Pokemon that can learn both Whirlpool and Waterfall. If I find that I need Waterfall to get to Lucia. Like, that's... that's Which is more of a pain? 
I mean, it's in game, so I feel like Lorenzo can do just fine with two water HMs on his move set. There might even be a move deleter. Or was that not introduced at this point? Come on! Take like four steps. Right. So this was not the correct route, the correct cave. Awesome. It's this way, isn't it? I think is the way out. Yep. Again, most pointless question. Possibly in any Pokemon game ever. Right, so I don't believe we've been in this cave yet, so I'm just going to go around the perimeter and try and find the whirlpool that lets me in. It was probably just down and left of me, so I'm going to go head round to the right and have to do like a full lap of the place to get in. But it's okay. It's not like we're moving fast anyway. Can't, I don't know if we've fought all these swimmers, but ain't nobody got time for that today. So, uh, that's why I'm trying to skip that. I feel like I have, because I feel like he would have seen me then, if, uh, if I hadn't fought him. Oh, wow. Didn't even move then. <clears throat> Come on. Unwelcome encounter counter. If I could be bothered doing the editing, that would be on the episode. But I can't, so it won't. I don't think this is one I've been in already. I hope it's not. I'm kind of getting a bit lost, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. Have we been here before? Like, probably. I don't think so, actually. I'm pretty sure there's four islands. What do you reckon the odds are that it's the that it's the fourth one that I look on? Because I think I've looked. Oh, it's not this way. It's this way. Oh come on! It's just to be inconvenient. That's the only reason it's designed like this. Is just to inconvenience you. Like, give me another reason why they would have put those blocks there to make you go this way on land. And then all the way around the cave to get into it. Oh, and you have to surf again. Do you know why they did it? To inconvenience you. That is literally the only reason. Right, so. I don't think we've been in here, but I'll have a better idea once we've had a look at the inside. So let's flash. Awesome. So we can't get back out the way we came in. <laughs> that bodes well. Oh, wait. that's This is where we wanted to be, though. This, I believe, is where we wanted to be. Like, the stairs. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Progress. Can't go back on ourselves there either. Oh, come on! I swear, if we need waterfall, I'm teaching Lorenzo waterfall. I've made my mind up now. Getting impatient. Really? Really, guys? Okay, that's the only option. And now surfing is the only option. And surfing down is the... Oh, this is the water I wanted to jump in. There's... Okay. And there's a waterfall. Hello? Hello? Hello! How you doing? There's a thumbnail for you. 
Great. Wild encounter. Okay. Okay. So, half an hour into the episode, we found Lucia. <laughs> now we're going to try and catch this thing. Oh, it doesn't even turn and look at me to speak to me. How rude. How rude. Could at least look at me. Oh my god. Oh, is that the thumbnail? Level 40. I'm so glad it's, quote, only level 40. Right, come on, Darren. Get these smoke screens up ASAP. Luja, I know you sat in water, in a place surrounded by water, but don't have any water moves. Okay, it's got recover. That is trolley as all hell. It's got gust. That's two moves. I know two of its moves. Recover and gust. feel a lot happier knowing all of its moves. Hits Gust. That shouldn't do too much. It's a weak move. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just don't bust out Surf, because you clearly are surfing. You clearly know Surf, because you're on the water. Okay, safeguard. So we can't put it to sleep just yet. That's three moves. None of them are particularly dangerous just yet. Recover. See how much a flame wheel does. Recover, gust, and safeguard. That does nothing. I'm okay with it doing nothing. You know, I'm just going to whittle it down. As long as safeguard's up as well, we can't get a burn. I don't really want a burn. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, loser. Okay. I'm going to test out quick attack for damage. Even less. Even less. It's still in gusts as well. Third so should be okay to eat a gust. And it's likely to have a fourth move that's psychic type. Okay, we can't put it to sleep. I was actually switching in to put it to sleep. But, hey-ho, it's okay. Oh my god! Oh yeah, of course, it's a psychic type. Duh. Of course it hits Aeroblast. Is Aeroblast one of those moves that can't miss? Yeah, keep safeguarding, that's fine. Right. I don't feel like a rock throw is going to kill it, even though it's super effective and stab. It's a loser. That was risky, why did I do that? Okay, we're good, we're good. Now we can strength. And another strength. Rats! That's going to be a pain. That is going to be a right pain. Okay, Aeroblast can miss. Good to know. Good to know that the game just tried screwing me instead of like it being a mechanic. <gasps> that was a crit. Don't recover. Please don't recover. Please don't recover. Please. How much HP it does? A third need. I'm not risking him. I'm not risking him. Don't recover and don't safeguard. Please? Just gust. Gust would be perfect. Aeroblast miss is fine as well. Oh my god, really? Yeah, 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 I know. Start lobbing Ultra Balls then, I guess.
Don't recover. What did I just say? I wish we had disable on someone. It's the one time that move's actually useful. Alright, headbutt it. It's gonna do nothing. Oh, I've got to put this thing to sleep. Did Pokemon run out of PP on, uh, oh, come on, on Gen 2? Because that's going to get annoying. I might not be able to catch this. We can we can take a crit at the moment. No, no crit. Okay, a, a crit might kill her, but come on, Geo Chick, control yourself. A little bit of self control, please. Thank you. Get third out there as soon as the safeguard fades. Oh! Right, and now it's gonna safeguard. Just in time. Yeah! I can't play it any other way though. Like, there's just no other way to do this. The safeguard always lasts the same number of turns, and if it does, it's just gonna, it's just gonna safeguard again. Like the turn when I switch in third, like the next turn after I switched him in, it's always gonna block hypnosis with safeguard. Don't recover. Gust. Gust is, your, is the play, loser. The play. Did I say play or pay then? I don't know. Aeroblast missed. That's fine as well. Okay, use the cover. That's annoying, but... It's not safeguard annoying. Yes! Right, you need to stay asleep, boy. Oh, excuse me. Big hiccup. That hurt my stomach for some reason. Okay. Keep staying asleep. Keep... Oh! Ugh! Are you joking? Damn these 3DS D-pads. Ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I know. Just wasted a turn of sleep. Get a crit. It won't die if you get a crit. Get a crit. Get a crit. Get it into red. Crit! Of course not. Okay, don't get a crit. It's going to die if you get a crit. Oh, let's walk up as well. Oh, this is frustrating. It's in red. It's going to recover now, and it's going to safeguard next turn. We're just in this cycle. Okay, it gusted. Could you go ahead and gust again? Recover is not great, but it's not the worst scenario either. Thank you. Come on, third. You got your glasses on. Well done. Right. Right, let's not magnitude this time. <laughs> we actually got some luck with it staying asleep for a few turns as well. That's that's what's kind of crazy about it. We, we've hit two hypnoses, and it stayed asleep for a few turns. But then I click magnitude because my D-pad's awful and I'm not paying enough attention, not going slow enough. Okay, that was a crit. That's fine. That's actually a very good... Don't click run, you idiot. Let's use these Ultra Balls. These ones are better. Come on. It's in red. It's asleep. It didn't even shake. It's fast asleep. Okay. As long as it doesn't recover, I'm not even going to worry about putting it back to sleep now. 
Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep throwing ultra balls. It's in bed. Once it's out of bed, I might consider trying to like get it to sleep and all that good stuff again. How come it shook when it was awake, but it didn't shake when it was asleep? Okay, safeguard, we're not putting you to sleep then. Understood. I like how now my total ultra balls are under 99, and yet I still have two slots for it. That's kind of fun. Okay, double safeguard, new meta. Come on, we've been in this battle for like 10 minutes now. Triple safeguard. I wonder why. Why is it safeguarding? Is it trying to predict the... But even if it was trying to predict it, it'd wait until safeguard ran out, surely. It's faster than my only status mod. Oh my god, are we ever going to catch this thing? Okay. Great. I should have been counting how many of these it's used, because after 21, I'd know that it wasn't running out of PP. But, because I don't know how many it's used, I don't know if it's ever going to run out. That'll... Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to strength. I don't think I'll kill it with a strength. Okay. Time is now. Screw putting it to sleep. It's just... It's just getting stuck in an endless cycle if I try and do that. As it started hitting all the time, by the way. Don't think I've forgotten to put smoke screens up, game. I know I put smoke screens up. Don't start trying to screw me over. Nothing. Damn it! Stop doing that. Git. I've only got five rock throws left. It's in red. It's in red. I don't, I don't know how much difference lots of red against not very much red makes to the catch rate, but... Oh my god! Come on! You having a laugh? Are you... Having a laugh is what it's doing. Why do I feel like we're not going to get this, guys? Why do I feel like we're not going to get this? I feel like another rock throw is too much. Lovely. Okay. Come on. 92 Ultra Balls <laughs> remaining. I'd speed it up, but I feel like people would complain about the drama being taken away, because you know I was going to catch it when it sped, when it moved back to normal speed. So, I'm just going to make you guys sit through it the same as I do. It's a good job I'm only uploading this weekly at the moment. Might take a week to upload this video. Come on. If, if it's run out of everything but Gust now, I know it's got quite a few Gusts left, because Gust has 35 PP by default. If it does run out of PP, we're a long way off it struggling to death. I'm hoping it's run out of recovers. That'd be like, absolute best case scenario. Best case scenario would be it stays in the damn ball. That'd be best case scenario. Let's be honest. Two shakes, because we, I don't think we've had two shakes yet. We've had none, we've had one, we've had three. Now we've had two. The one thing we've not had is the Pokemon being caught now, so... You know, gotta catch them all, Game Freak. Gotta catch all those combinations of Pokeball shakes. It's not out of recovers! Of course it's not! Double recover! All my hard work undone. It's back to full health. The only difference is I have less PP on all my moves now. That's literally all I've, all I've achieved now in this battle. Oh, and I've got fewer Pokeballs. Ultra Balls, whatever.
Got one rock throw left. I'm going to strength. I don't even feel like there's much point in throwing a Pokeball while it's in orange. 86 to go. That's okay. You can keep taking gusts. I feel like I've not seen an Aero Blast in a while. Doesn't that only have like 5 PP? So maybe it does have finite PP. So maybe eventually it will run out of recovers. Hopefully it will run out of recovers way before it runs out of gusts. When it runs out of gusts, we're in a bit of trouble. It's going to kill itself. Apologies for not like commentating every single moment of this, but I'm just mostly sat here with an unimpressed look on my face. <laughs> just, uh, I think the term would be exasperation. 81 Ultra Balls remaining. Oh! Come on! Oh, right. Right back to just shaking once. Oh, it's not out. It's not out of the covers. I feel like we're eventually going to get, like, a really, really harmful crit that kills it. Or it's going to kill itself with struggle. Oh, we're going to run out of Pokeballs. But I feel like we're not catching it. Like, if this crits, we might be in a spot of bother. But we have to get it in red. Yeah, if that had critted, it might have killed it. That's the sort of scenario I can see. If it recovers again, I'm going to have to use, like, an ether or something on uh, Rock Throw. Right on cue. Right on cue. fine. Safeguard all you want. Safeguard all you want. We've got 10 more rock throws now. Keep safeguarding. Don't crit. Don't crit, Geochick. This is uh, this is Game Freak's idea of fun. Like, hey, why don't you go catch those legendaries? That'll be fun. Really? Maybe I'm pressing down B at the wrong time, guys. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> well, timing's off. We had 103 coming into this, Ultra Balls. We had 103 Ultra Balls coming into this. What sort of sickles put recover on a Pokemon this hard to catch? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Who made that decision and were they locked up for it? For being a clear sociopath. Because that threw those rocks so hard it faded its safeguard. That's how it works, guys. Finally gets us down into orange.
Okay. Let's keep going. 72 left in total. So that's... 31. Oops, the balls. It's now broken out of. I'm like, not even really reacting anymore. <laughs> Hasn't used Aeroblast in ages. Has it run out of them? And if it has, can it just use Recover over and over again? Oh no, it missed! Oh. Right, it is out of moves. It is officially now or never. Although it can't safeguard anymore either. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Damn it! It's dead. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not a quarter in this gen. Struggle's really harsh in newer gens. That's why I thought it was dead. This is literally the weakest loser possible. Can you please just let me catch it? I don't know if it's safeguards still up or if it's faded. I'm going to have to heal. Just in case it gets a crit, I am not losing Geochick. <clears throat> Hits. Of course it does. Live. Oh, there's the crit! I was on 75. That did 24. I would have just lived on one. I would have just lived on one. It's still living. Come on, you gotta stop hitting me now. This loser would rather kill itself than be my friend. Feels bad. Feels bad. Watch, I'll go and look this up and then, uh, there'll be something where they messed up the programming of Pokeballs. Where Great Balls are better than Ultra Balls or some nonsense like that. Oh, that's so infuriating. It's going to hit me this time. No. It's not... Uh, how... It's weaker than it ever... Right, like, that's it. It's dead. It's dead. Oh. experience that was well worth it so stupid so stupid how many ultra balls did I use in the end I've got 62 left we used 41 ultra balls I think I threw all of them when it was in red health I don't think I threw a ball and it wasn't in red health. It's so stupid. <sighs> I'm going to leave it here, guys, because uh, this episode is long enough. In the next episode, we'll find our way out and carry on with the story. Um, leave a like to pay respects to the loser that might have been. Uh, let me know in a comment what your least favourite thing about Pokemon is. <laughs> And why it's trying to catch legendaries. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to share with your friends who think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I will see you next time.